This is Astro World. Welcome to Astro World, a program featuring the best in new and classic contemplative and world fusion music. We describe this production as representing the discovery of the infinite universe within the musical biosphere. I'm your host, Jim Ellis, and on this program we're going to return to the roots of Astro's homeworld to hear music from artists of the ambient, space, and electronic genres. First, we'll hear tracks from Alpha Wave Movement, also known as the composer-musician Gregory Kirillak. Then, we'll hear music and a commentary from Dave Luxton, an artist who draws upon his background in classical music, technology, and science for inspiration when designing his compositions. Join us now for an hour's journey to Astro World. This program's featured artist is Dave Luxton. I've asked Dave to share some insights regarding his approach to composition and production. Here's Dave in his own words. Ambient space music is characterized by its sense of open and expansive spaces, as well as movement within those spaces. But I also think that ambient space music is very emotional and dramatic in its effect. And the way that I achieve that as a composer is to draw upon my background in classical music. I studied classical guitar for many years, going back to when I was in high school, and I'm a big fan of Baroque music. And so what I like to do is to build harmonic structures that have elements of tension and resolve in them. And I also like to use melodic motifs in order to provide the music with a sense of voice. I have always been drawn to music by its power to evoke emotion and to also serve as a way of communicating what we experience. And what I like the most about electronic music is that there is just a limitless amount of sounds that are available to you. You can modulate or create sounds that have never existed before. And I also like the fact that in electronic music there really aren't any limitations to the style of music that you can create. It is just such a fun and creative form of music. I have a background in psychology as well as in uh, technology and science and I often draw from those areas in my, for my music and you'll notice that in my themes and in my titles that there's a lot of uh, celestial types of ideas which makes perfect sense for ambient space music. Um, in fact I also um, have embedded a easter egg if you will into all of my albums and if you listen closely uh, you might be able to pick up on that. I plan to continue to evolve as a composer and as a producer and really to see where I can take my music. And I think that all artists out there would agree with me that if you are an artist, you have to create art, otherwise you don't feel alive. And that is certainly uh, how music is for me. I also really enjoy working with other musicians and ultimately I believe that music has the capability to help us to experience something that is greater than ourselves. I know that when I compose and listen to music that I experience that, and I hope that my music can help other people to experience that as well. Thank you, Dave. We appreciate your commentary. You've been listening to Astro World. Our playlist for this program included tracks by the composer-musician Gregory Kirillik, also known as Alpha Wave Movement. In sequence, those tracks were Eternal Panorama from the album Sonic Variants, then Liquid Cosmos from the album 
a distant signal. Followed by three tracks from the album Terra, Sky Geometry, Slow Motion Halos, and Cloud Maker. Then we heard tracks from our featured artist, Dave Luxton. From his album, Music from the Firmament, we heard Return to a Distant Star, If the Sun Fades Away, Nebula, One Way Voyage, and finally the track you're hearing now, Coriolis. You can find out more about this program on the World Wide Web at terrestrial dot astroworld.com that's terrestrial dot a s t r e a u x w o r l d dot com thanks for listening and join us next week as we continue to explore the infinite universe within the musical biosphere This is Astro World.